So what was your first guitar and what first inspired you to reach and pick up a guitar? My first guitar was a Tara. It was a black imitation Les Paul. Um, I actually bought it for ten dollars from my buddy at school and I was just obsessed. I needed uh, I needed a guitar, you know, every time I heard a band break down it just a just a guitar by itself, I was just drawn in. I just I was so obsessed with it. I had a buddy who had a big brother who played guitar and he'd lock his bedroom door and play guitar and I would beg him, my buddy, let's just go look at it. Can I touch it? Can I play it for a second? He's like, No, my brother will kill you. So uh you know, it took me years of asking my parents to get a guitar, but finally, when my, that opportunity arose where I could get that one for ten dollars, I bought it and uh, bought a guitar amplifier for forty-five dollars. And fifty-five bucks later, I've got my guitar and amplifier, and I just started playing. I didn't take lessons; I just started writing. Do you think that's a good way for people to start out, rather than learning someone else's songs and trying to sound like someone else? In a perfect world, yes, but I think um, the way I did it was, is a much more difficult way just because um, it takes so much longer. It took me, I mean, it probably took me 10 years to get decent at the guitar. I was um, fumbling around on my own, but the good thing in the long run, it gives you your own sound. I think you develop your own style and own sound when you don't learn from other people. But uh, that being said, I was buying tablature books. I was I was buying instructional uh, VHS tapes back in the day where I would learn more shreddy kind of stuff. But that stuff didn't affect my songwriting and my, how I developed as a, uh, as a writer. So that, uh, I think that's good. I think uh, if you get too technical with your guitar all the time, you're not trying to be creative with it, I think it ends up being uh, something that holds you back. Thanks for watching. And if you want more music news, just subscribe to Old Guitar TV and press that little bell to get notifications.